Hey guys, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to review my February spreads as well as show you all the ones for March. So as you can see here, nothing has really changed on the calendar spread except for I did highlight the books that I either read already or have purchased. And then moving into the read every day and page tracker spread, as you can see here, I did read every day except for the 13th, mostly because the Demonathon started on the 14th and went through the end of the month, and I did not want to start a like new big book on the 13th, and I didn't want to get a head start either, so I just took a day off. But otherwise, I actually doubled my reading in February versus January. January was like 2,000 and something, and this is almost 5,000. I read 4,954 pages. Then we went to the TBR. I got through most everything that I said I was going to read. I did not get to From Blood and Ash and a couple arcs that I ended up having to move to like the beginning of March, but otherwise I'm very happy with the amount of reading I did. I also did hit all three prompts for the Read by Daylight that is done by Bear. Number one was to read a book with a cover similar to one of your favorites, and for that one I read The Last True Vampire. Number two was to read a book that you heard about online, for that one I read Wolf Song. And then and number three was to read a book with a film or TV adaption, and for that one I read Artemis Fowl. And then we do still have the survivor space open, and this can actually transfer over into another month if I need it. So that's great. Then we have my readathon spreads. So we had Fantasy Romance February, which was going through the entire month of February. And as you can sort of see here, can you guys actually see it? Because I use a silver pen. I got quite a few things checked off on these bingo boards. Not everything, but I did get multiple bingos on this board at least. And the only book I did not read was From Blood and Ash, which I said earlier. And then for the Demonathon, I do actually have two vlogs for this since it did go for two weeks. I will leave those linked down below, but I did read everything that I set out to read. And this was a really, really fun readathon with like interactive elements to find our prompts. It was just a good, good time. And this one was hosted by Yumi. I will leave her link down below as well. Okay, now this. I hauled one book in February, which I'm very, very proud of because I did not buy extra things. However, this was mostly just not going to the bookstore. This I hauled because I actually DNF'd a book in February, but I only had had that book for a few days, and so I ended up switching it out for this one, which is going to be one that I read in March. And I don't have any other books to put on here because I didn't go to the bookstore in February. I also didn't get any of our February book boxes on time. Those all came in at the beginning of March, and I actually do have the unboxing for both book boxes that I get up on my channel as well. So more space than I thought I was going to have for a haul, but I mean, that's, that's a good thing. Then I also do have my favorite book of the month, which is Song of Blood and Stone by Elle Penelope, and then we have my quote page. So I had four quotes that I really, really enjoyed from this month. We have, my heart was never my own. It belonged more to the ones I loved than to me from Song of Blood and Stone. We have saying what if never helped anyone. You can't undo the bad things that have happened. Pain cannot be avoided, but it can be accepted from the Castle School for Troubled Girls. We have, I hate to break it to you, my friend, but as a general rule, women's hearts aren't won through kidnapping and violence from The Last True Vampire. And I also had, I was not cursed with an over overabundance of brains. My mom said I was just fine. My daddy thought it was slow. My mom said it wasn't a race from Wolf Song. And then we have my books read spread. So because I read so many pages, as you saw earlier, you can probably assume I read a lot of books. I actually read 22 individual books or items because some of these were like short stories or graphic novels or manga in the month of February. And then we have my stats down here. So for the age category, I did read one new adult, two middle grade, six young adult, and 13 adult titles. For the format, I had one audiobook, three ebooks, six arcs, and 12 physical books. And for the star rating, I had one DNF or according to this, it's a one star, four three stars, two three and a half stars, three four stars, two four and a half stars, and ten five star reads. I had a really, really good month in February. So now we are going to move into March. <laughs> so I just wanted something really happy and fun and bright for March. And I know we just did cats in January, but 
I couldn't say no to dogs. So most of the stickers from this pack do come from the Dog House pack, which was one of the packs from Sticky Club. I do have a couple things um, like this one here that came from the Art Box store that is in my local like Korean market. Um, that's what this came from as well. But basically all the other stickers did end up coming from Sticky Club and this is what our March looks like. I'm very, very excited for it. Nothing too crazy going on. And this month we do have the 48 hour Bookopolis-a-thon happening on Saturday the 20th through Sunday the 21st. However, this is gonna be happening during UK time. So I think for me, it is actually gonna start near the evening-ish hours on Friday and go through part of Sunday. But I put it on the calendar in an easier way than that. Also, my sister's birthday is this month and there's a lot of new releases that I'm very excited for. Then we have my read every day and page tracker spread. I'm actually a little bit behind on this. Um, I did not read the first of March. I think I was just sort of getting over Demonathon a little bit because I read a lot in February. We talked about that. Um, but I did get started on this part. Haven't gotten started on this part, but I have been reading every day since the first. And then for my colors down here, basically the whole spread this month is based around this pack of markers. I did actually get these from the Kawaii Pen Shop, but they are just zebra mild liners in a really fun color set. I don't know what this one is specifically called, but we have like yellow, orange, a like muted sort of reddy, peachy tone almost, and then blue and gray. And so a lot of the colors that you'll see in this month were taken from this. So the books and the colors that I'm using for this month, we have the orange for physical, red for ebook, yellow for arc, and blue for audio. And as you can see here, I use more of those colors here. This is our TBR. I still have quite a big TBR that I'm hoping to get to in this month, even though I try not to make huge TBR videos anymore. Um, but I did have a lot of books that I was like, these are the ones I have to read, and then these are the ones that I want to read. So I do have, I think there was like four or five titles that I'm definitely going to be getting to, but then I have a bunch of other ones that I want to get to. So that's what this is. I do like this sort of like box method for TBRs that I've been doing for since the beginning of January. So that's what we did here. This page is actually for a secret vlog style thing that I am doing, which I'm actually doing right now. So I can't talk about any of my reading that I'm currently reading, but I do want to set this up with that. But I didn't want to do any of that right away because I don't want you guys to know what it is yet. Then we're getting into the readathon stuff that I'm doing. So the first one is like more of like the challenges for Red by Daylight. This month we do have Sally. So this reminds me a lot of like Deep Blue Sea. It's like a genetically altered shark. So I did have one to one shark sticker in all of my Sticky Club stickers that I did end up putting here. I think this is from some sort of like Arctic pack, but I only had one. I wish I had more shark stickers, but I don't. And then for the challenges that we have for this month, we have number one, the Janus Project was kept secret from public knowledge and took place on a research facility at sea. Read a book set on, in, or around the ocean. I don't know if I actually have any books that fit that currently in my TBR. We will have to see. Number two, the experimentations left Sally with many abilities, like being able to swim at speeds of 50 miles per hour. Read a book you'll get through quickly. I do have a couple like novellas and stuff that I can read for that one for this month. Uh, with her tracker still attached, we know Sally still swims across the ocean, searching for the families of those who held her captive, killed her pups, and turned her into a horrific monster. Read a revenge story. Again, I'm sure I have something I can use for that. And then the survivor, Haley Song allows readers to use her special perk. They can phone a friend and have another person select one of their reads, replacing a prompt in favor of that book. Using the survivor is never required. So again, yes, you do not have to use the survivor. However, you can switch out a prompt for the survivor if you want. Also, if you did not use the survivor from a previous month, you can also use them in the current month that you're in. I completely failed January's Read by Daylight, so even though technically I didn't use the survivor for that one, I'm counting that as a month that I didn't survive, but I did survive February and I did not use the survivor, so if I did want to, I could use February's survivor 
for this month or future months. And then obviously, like I said before, we do have the 48 hour bookopolathon, and this is from March 20th through 21st. We have our first roll done, and then everything else will be coming about 12 hours after. We know how this works, and I don't know exactly how I'm going to be doing it this time. Last time I just picked one, whatever one sounded the best. This time I think I might try to combine both prompts into what book I'm going to read, but maybe I'll just do the same thing I did last time and pick like a fantasy and then maybe this one, I'll pick this one. It just depends on how I want to do it, but I did decide to leave the four spaces for each roll from each board and then I'll put the book that I'm going to read in the middle. Okay, and so now this is where we're going to have the haul and favorite book spread. I will probably have to put another sort of paper in the middle for like when I want to write on that, but I did enjoy this paper from like my scrapbook collection stuff. Uh, I just felt it fit with the color schemes really well. And then also my favorite quotes page. I have enough room for a few different quotes just depending on size, um, but I really just enjoy these like derpy dogs and stuff. It's just so much fun. And then we have the books read spread. So I've already finished one book. I have not written in anything yet because like I said, I'm a little bit behind doing this, but I did decide to alternate between the orange and like peachy red colors on here. And I think I'm gonna do all of my stars in the blue so we have enough colors going on. But yes, the book I'm currently reading is part of my secret vlog stuff, so I couldn't write that down anyway, but this is what March is looking like. Again, I'm really, really happy with my color scheme and the theme. Um, yes, I know I said we did cats in January, but come on, dogs are just way too cute too. If you guys ever have any ideas on what sticker packs you want me to use for the themes, always leave me comments down below. Um, I do have unboxing videos for the Sticky Club stuff up most months. I should also be having unboxing videos for the Sticky Club stickers up this month because I did end up getting all three packs again. I don't know why, but I did because I needed them. That's, that's why, that's the only reason why. Okay, and that is it from me. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. I do have videos up Mondays, Thursdays, and sometimes Saturdays, so I will see you then. Bye.